Good morning, YouTube. This is the Labor Day Bahamas vacation vlog, and it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Uh, 5.09. We've been up for about, well, an hour and 40 minutes. So, bright and early. Dark and early, rather. And instead of this being multiple videos, I'm just going to put everything all in the same video because Lazy. it makes things easier for me. So that's going to be the way that it is. All right. Nothing to really say right now. So there is. What? We left Logan's house, drove to the Dayton Airport, which was a 36-minute drive, parked, got to our shuttle, got to TSA, got breakfast, and got to our gate in 64 minutes. That all did happen. And like 40 minutes of that was just driving to the airport. So all the stuff once we got here only took like 20. Pretty huge. My girl Leah's out here with her bagel. How is it? Well, good. I forgot to ask her to toast it. Which is a bummer, but it's still good. It is what it is. Time to play an exciting game of what's in my travel bag. So Joey, no one cares. these are the essentials. Yes, they do. These are the essentials for every travel bag from the bottom up. You've got the idea of biblical poetry by James Kugel. You have Dangerous Calling by Paul David Tripp. You have a scripture journal for 2 Corinthians. You have Keeping the Heart by John Flavel. A commentary on Joshua. The Word Became Fresh by Dale Ralph Davis. Of course, a copy of the Hebrew Bible and a journal. Well, guys, I'm the official stuff watcher right now while everybody uses the bathroom. So, good thing I'm massive and intimidating. Guys, it's our boy Logan Cole. Hello. How's it going? Good. Very Tired. good. Yeah. You've been just a well-traveled man these past couple of days. So, running on like mm, about six hours of sleep on the last two nights. So, dude, it's great. When he hits the wall, we're going to be there for him. So, guys, I was thinking we were thinking do you think that the benefit of moving sidewalks in airports outweighs the cost let us know what up y'all i took a power nap which is giving me sufficient energy i think everybody else is just full on asleep which is completely understandable because we had to get up at like 3.30 this morning, and uh, I would be asleep as well. I just, I, I don't sleep well on, on chairs and in noisy airports, but it is what it is, so I'm walking around. We're about to get stupid crazy. Leaving North Carolina, heading to Nassau. Bahamas. How you feeling? Good. Same. <laughs> we have landed. Mm -hmm. We're officially in the Bahamas, which is pretty awesome. How hot do you think it's going to be when we get off this plane? 87. 87? I think it's going to be in the 90s. Do you already know? No. Alright, we'll see who's right. I'm pretty sure Leah guessed it spot on. But at least I was right with what it would feel like. Pretty impressive, babe. How you feel about that? Well, I looked at the weather before we came, but I hadn't seen it since we landed. Ah, uh, the truth comes out. We're out here, guys. 
vibing in the Bahamas. <laughs> Currently on the Bahama version of the Disney Magical Express, except there's no TV screens with videos playing telling us about what our vacation is about to be. And we're not at Disney, for which I am thankful. Yeah, Leah's not a big uh, people person. <laughs> she would love Disney World if there were no rides or people. <laughs> I'm not sure I would like it even then. <laughs> we made it. Pretty awesome. Hey, what up, wife? Hey. How's it going? Good, I'm hungry. Good thing we're about to get some food. <laughs> That's like all aquarium down there. Super cool. Look at that. So awesome. We got some seashells and seahorses. Fun fact about seahorses, the male seahorse is the one that gets pregnant. How crazy is that? Okay. Leah, did you know that male seahorses are the ones that have the babies? I think I did deep down. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Leah's gonna come win big at the casino later, huh babe? I always do. Yep, triple our money. Quadru probably. We're totally kidding. Phone eats first. Look at that salad. <laughs> at Zach Griffith, if you watch my YouTube videos. There's Leah. <laughs> Look at that beautiful girl. Oh wait, that's my wife. How's it going? Good. I'm gonna show the people this view because it's what they want to see. Boom. No commentary needed. Stop. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I will not stop. We're about to go grocery shopping with none other than Ryan and Julie. Logan and Addie are going to work on school. <laughs> Dad's getting his vlog bod. <laughs> his YouTube bod. Dang, that looks pretty good. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Get this face thing. <laughs> we got some dolphins over here. I don't know if y'all can see, but he's swimming around in that little pool right there. Of course, now they don't want to jump out of the water. Pretty awesome, though. We're in here grocery shopping. We made it. It's about a mile walk. And we're using these bags that they gave us at the resort, so it kind of looks like we're stealing stuff, but we're definitely not. So, just going bagless, you know? Helping, helping save the grocery store bags. Leah's got her uh, cranberry juice. It's not for me. Doing her part to uh, help us carry things. What a woman. What is up, you guys? We are out here, and check out how awesome our pool is. So dope. What up? My fingers smell like yeast. Yeast? <laughs> it's making me want to make some bread. <laughs> wow. So Leah's fingers smell like yeast. Something but that's... smells like fresh bread. Okay, something. Maybe not Leah's fingers. And I rubbed my nose and that's why I smell it, so that's why. Gotcha, interesting. We're headed down to the beach, so that's gonna be awesome. And yeah, I'm excited to see these clear waters. Other than the bread, any updates from you? No, I want to do the rapid rivers though. That does look kind of fun. Cause uh, that's like the most extreme thing I'll be able to do. Yeah. Look at that ocean, baby. Get that. Just says they should We're about to go on the rapid river. It's gonna be if pretty think, sweet. If we think it's, there's a moral debate. Leah thinks that her pregnancy shouldn't prevent her 
and most of us agree, so there's really no debate. So, I'm here with my good homies, Addie Johnson and Logan Cole. And look, look at these burgers. Oh my goodness. That's like the, that's almost as big as Logan's head. Yeah. It's a big boy. A big head. And Addie's about to eat that whole thing. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. That, that has self-image problems. He doesn't typically. <laughs> what is wrong with that? You don't typically have self-image problems. I got a great one. We've all obtained our Starbucks, except for Ryan, because he's too good for coffee. But not okay. everybody can be that good. Hey, no. <laughs> My guy pulled up with a yacht that has a helicopter. Leah and I are playing Guess Who. It's a pretty fun time. You think of a person, and then the other person asks you yes or no questions until they guess who you're thinking of. And I just got Leah's. Oh, she's yawning. She probably doesn't want you guys to see that. And now she's trying to guess mine. Who, who's yours? Can't say. <laughs> Sleepy. Leah, Leah, sleepy. No. Leah is saying that nobody watches this vlog, but I know there are people out here who do. To my faithful viewers, thank you. <laughs> We're out here watching sports. Having a good time. Real good time. You guys, I'm about to get some insane vlog footage. You will not be disappointed. bring you down here. We're like in a shark tank right now, which is pretty awesome. So, look, there he is. Hey there, boy. Pretty sweet. And there's the other slide over there. Whoa! <laughs> nice to meet ya. Alright, I gotta put it away. All right, Logan, what's your take on these slides? The leap of faith in, I don't know, Shark Town. Um, terrifying. <laughs> Wor worst experience of your life? My heart's still racing. Addie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty intense. So scary. <laughs> it was a good time. Leah can't go because she is with child, but hey, there's certain limitations that come with that. That's okay. Nice to meet you. Out here. Leah and I just had the easiest COVID testing experience of our lives. In total, from like check-in to getting out of there, it took like six minutes. What are your Maybe thoughts? Maybe two. <laughs> it was awesome. It was pretty crazy. Ryan and Julie. Ran, like that testing facility. Check out this view, y'all. Pretty sweet. see on the camera, but that's okay. Look at him go. Look at him go. We got a big old school coming through. Wow! A mysterious boiling vessel. They want me to get in? Please don't. I don't think it's hot. I, I don't want you to get eaten. I think it's just bubbling for effect. It's not even visible really. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, pretty crazy. There's the manta ray. Hi. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Nice to meet you, fella. He is so massive. Addy and I, we did manta ray stingray research. Oh, hey, little seahorsey boys. Fun fact about seahorses, they don't move very fast. Oh, they're seahorses. So in cartoons, <laughs> when you see them moving super fast, it's not, are not accurate. Are there any seahorses in there? Look at Wait, those are they? Boys. They might be. Oh, oh those are baby seahorses. Are they really? Are yeah, sure? I think they are baby seahorses because... I think those well, Look at them. They, they look like they're like Guys, we can't confirm this, but these might be baby seahorses. They look like they have diarrhea. Wow. <laughs> we got some clownfish. Oh, there's the black one. They're way Some anemones. Anemone, anemone, anemones. And then a little sea urchin that's moving. That one's kind of big. He's locomoting. That sea urchin looks dead up there. Oh, yeah, that, that one's might not, be a dead. He's not looking too healthy. Looks like he's still hurt to step on that. <laughs> Welcome to Jellyfish Fields. Well, we have a lot of this. <laughs> My guy in here can't flip himself over. He was trying really hard earlier, but... He's catching his breath. Yeah. He might have given up. And nobody else really seems interested in helping him. Look at these boys. We got some lionfish. One of the most dangerous fish in the sea in terms of its poisonousness. We got some lobster. We're getting ice cream, but there's some kind of flash mob happening outside. You can see people dancing around. Yep, I have no idea who any of those guys are, but they're on this vlog now, and that's what matters. Good morning. We're out here. Um, it's barely morning. It's like 11.55, but it's still morning. And we're about to ride the Rapid River again, but this time we're going to start at Station 1 because, I don't know, it's a different thing to do. It's going to be fun. So we're following Leah. There she goes, leading the way. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. It's hot out, so we also all might get sunburned. Other than that, nothing to report. I'm taking y'all out into the ocean because this water is amazing. Look at this. You just can't beat that. Mint. Mint is still green. Go stars. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, you guys can't see my phone, but it's the mint colored iPhone. And Leah tells me it's a girl phone, but it's not because I own the phone. So therefore, and I'm a boy. I'm going to try and get a shot of all the fish that swim around here. There's some fish. There goes some more. Look at all of them. I want to go around and ask everybody's favorite part so far. Oh Leah, we'll start with you since your attitude's so good. What's been your favorite part of Atlantis so far? Uh, the parts where you haven't been vlogging. All right, Addie, what about you? Uh, the beach. Addie's like the beach best. <laughs> The pools. Logan is like the pool's best. Ryan, what about you? Definitely the golf. The golf. <laughs> <laughs> Julie. Family time and the beach. The water. Family time and the beach. Mom, and I have family. really enjoyed dinner because I'm a big <laughs> food guy. If you guys missed it, Leah said that her 
favorite part of this vacation has been the times where I'm not vlogging. Well, I guess she just doesn't appreciate all the hard work I put into this, like risking my phone by holding it in the ocean, but it's fine. Book recommendation for all of my ones of twos of viewers. Read Keeping the Heart by John Flavel. Super good. Everybody went to the restroom, so I'm here with the best. My wifey. Good morning, everyone. I just had some excellent quiet time with my coffee and my scripture journal, reading a little 2 Corinthians this morning with just an amazing view. I just got to sit outside here over by the uh, Starbucks and read my Bible, which was a fantastic start to the day. And it's our last day here, so I think we're going to eventually get some breakfast and then walk around for a little bit and eventually fly home. So... Not a super eventful day, but it'll be good to be home. Also, highly recommend these ESV scripture journals. Super awesome. I never thought I would need all of that space to write stuff down. I always thought I would just use a separate journal, but it's so nice having a bunch of blank space right beside the text, because then you can underline and then write your little verse reference over in the note section and write a little note down. It's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. We've got the yacht homies. Always fun to walk by the yachts. So many of them. Brian and Julie left us, so it's just the youngsters. We're out here vibing. That is a nice fish, though. Nice to meet ya. So I think we're gonna walk on the beach and uh, go hang out. Let's go explore the big blue world. All right. So we went to the casino with a sixteen-dollar voucher that mom found on the floor. That yeah, that Julie found. So our guy Logan over here bets it all on one hand, the blackjack and wins it with a blackjack. So then we've got $32, which is pretty awesome, and like some odd amount of cents. So he cashes that in, and we have 76 cent voucher. So we go over to the penny slots. I pull once and we lose, and then we bet all of the remaining credits on one pull, except for one. So it was like an 81 credit, and we had 82. And we pull it, and we hit a small jackpot and end up with $31. So we ended up making like well over $40 in like five minutes. We quadrupled our money. Yeah, it was pretty insane. So overall, I guess we're just lucky people. Yeah, we all got $16 richer today. Pretty awesome. And we did it in like five minutes. So that's that's pretty good hourly rate. We should just keep going, but we'll stop. Yeah. And we donated. What was that? We also donated money to the ocean. Yes, we were donated our remaining change to the ocean. Go ocean. You guys, my boys, my boys, my boy Danny from K's Fine Jewelry here in the Bahamas fixed me up with a free hat. So if you're ever in the Bahamas and you need jewelry and you have money to afford it, go to K's Fine Jewelry and tell them Joey sent you for a 0% discount. Bye fish. It was nice knowing ya. It was nice to meet ya. We made it onto the plane. We made it to Atlanta, which is huge. I'm the luggage watcher right now. Waiting for everybody to get done in the bathroom. And soon we'll be on our way back to Ohio. Um, nothing to report other than we're at the Atlanta airport, which is massive, so it could take us forever to get to our next gate, but that's okay. 
because this is a long-ish layover. So we'll sit down, get some work done, maybe have some coffee. It'll be a solid night. Now is the time to make up for lost time. To reconnect with the people. We made it to Columbus on bag duty once again. But that's great. Feeling good. Ready to drive home. It's going to be lit. And then I'm going to sleep. And that's going to be even better. So it's been an epic vacation. Not going to lie. But definitely excited to be home. Oh, wait. Hello. Yay! Nice to meet ya. Well guys, we made it home. So the trip was awesome. And yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend Atlantis as a vacation getaway. So yeah, hope you enjoy the vlog to all three of my viewers, one of which is me, one of which is my mom, and the other is probably Jamal Paul. You know who you are. <laughs>